Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So here is the Math 3 lesson, lesson 3.1 on exploring exponential models. Um, similar to the lesson you covered in Math 1, but we're going to add a little bit to it today by talking some about the basics of the properties of logarithms, logs. So what is an exponential function? Well, here's the equation, y equals a times b to the x power, where x, how, you know, how do we know that it's an exponential function? The x is going to be the exponent, okay? As far as the a and the b, well, the a value, that's your initial value or your starting amount. Um, the catch is that a cannot be equal to zero. Your b value, that is the rate of growth or decay. It could be a growth problem, it could be a decay problem, it's not gonna be both at the same time. And the catch with B is that it's gonna be a number that's greater than zero, but it cannot be equal to one. So it can be any value in between zero and one, or greater than one. It just can't equal one, or be a negative. So here is two equations that represent what an exponential function looks like. Here's two to the x power and one half to the x power. And to make this table of values and to save some time, what I did was I went to the y equals screen and I typed in that equation. You know, to raise it to the x power, right here is your power button, the caret key. So if you push that and you raise it to the x, you can then go to your table of values by pushing second and graph or second table. And that shows you your list of numbers that we fill in here. And then we just plot those points on the graph. And same thing here, you can type in this equation in the y equals screen. Go to your table of values, get your list of numbers, plot those points, make your graph. This is what an exponential function looks like on a graph. This, as it's going up, represents exponential growth. Where this one, as it's coming down, represents exponential decay. Now, breaking down exponential growth and decay. First, we'll talk about growth. How do we know that a problem is an exponential growth? That's when the B value is something greater than one. Um, maybe it's a whole number, maybe it's a two, a three, a four. Uh, maybe it's decimals, 1.1. That's a value greater than one, so that represents growth. 1.25, 1.375, all examples of growth. How do we actually make the B value? Well, first we're gonna have to take whatever the percentage rate is, the rate of increase, and we're gonna convert it to a decimal. I'm gonna bump that decimal over two places. It's always two places. So 8% would become 0 0.08. And then we would say one plus 0 0.08, well, that means your B value is 1.08. Now, if you were trying to actually, if you were given an equation and you were trying to figure out what was the rate of growth, then you would simply say whatever the B value was given to you, maybe in this case, 1.08, subtract it from one, and you would get 0 0.08, and then you would just convert that back to a percentage by bumping the decimal two places back to the right. So what are some key words that help you out when you're doing a word problem that lets you know that it's a growth problem? Well, you might hear the word growth, increase, appreciate, basically any word that means going up. Decay, that's when the B value is something less than one, but it's still gotta be greater than zero, so it's anything between the range of zero and one, but not including the zero or the one. Um, and then here are your examples of how to find the B value. It's gonna be one minus the rate. Don't forget to convert it from a percent to a decimal. And then if you were given an equation, here's how you would figure out the rate. And here are your keywords.